Welcome back, brothers and sisters. I am Braden. This is Langley Outdoors Academy, the place where we not only talk about what's going on in the gun world, but also how we're going to fix it together. And what we're about to talk about is got the media all in a fury. We are talking about anyone under a civil protection order now can no longer have their rights taken from them without a conviction. This is incredibly important, the framing, because the media is going full bore on this and expect a lot more, particularly for people like Gavin Newsom, who are also going to show up in this, uh, in this video. Everything will be linked in the description box below, and I cannot wait to hear what you guys think about this one. If you are new or you are a returning viewer, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn the notification bell on. We need as many of you as possible to get into the fold, get in the trenches with us so we can pass the blessing of the Second Amendment along to the next generation. And thank you so much for your consideration. But my brothers and sisters, this is a big one. This is a hot button topic. The left has been going after this for a while. You saw a lot of this last year in the Violence Against Women Act. The whole premise here and what they're so upset about is a federal court has invalidated the idea that the state can prevent you from having Second Amendment rights through a civil protection order or a restraining order. This is not a court of law. This is not convicted by a jury of your peers. This is not a felony on your record. This is a you can't do that thought crime kind of situation. You might, so you can't. That's what we're dealing with. And before I dive into what's actually happening, understand the framing of this is incredibly important. You're already seeing the media, which I'm going to show you, go out and say domestic violence abusers are now allowed to have guns because of the Bruin decision. And they're going to frame it from the perspective of Guns everywhere for everyone, no matter what the crime is. It's, it's insane. The Bruin decision is off the charts. That's what's going to be framed as. What in reality this is, is this is losing your rights before a conviction. That's what we're talking about here. Make sure you understand that this is what has been protected, not this extreme worst case the media is putting forward. But let's dive into this. I'm going to show you what we're talking about, and I'm going to show you what's being laid out. Federal Appeals Court strikes down domestic violence gun law. See? Specifically, the court ruled the federal law was a, quote, outlier that our ancestors would have never accepted, barring a quote from the Bruin decision. Domestic violence law, Bruin decision. They're trying to paint this as a negative across the board, even though it's all about preserving the rights of individuals before they are proven guilty of anything. That's the important piece here. And that's what I'm going to focus this video on because it's very easy to fall into the trap the left is laying because this is a marketing thing right now. A federal appeals court ruled Thursday that the government can't stop people who have domestic violence restraining orders against them from owning guns. The latest domino to fall after the U.S. Supreme Court's conservative majority set new standards for reviewing nation's gun laws. Now, they're going to fight incredibly intensely on this because this is a gun control law. This is something that they can take guns from people very similar to red flag laws. Keep that in mind. You're, being, you're having your rights curtailed without conviction. You are not a felon, but your rights are conveyed as such. Understand, that's what we're talking about. You can have a restraining order for something as simple as pointing a, a surveillance camera in the wrong, uh, wrong direction or threatening speech or whatever it is. There's so many different areas that this can go into, but all are carrying the penalties of felonies, and that's important to understand. That's what we're talking about. I'm going to hit that a lot in this video because we're going to have to counter this narrative because it's coming. Police in Texas found a rifle and a pistol at the home of a man who was the subject of a civil protection order that banned him from harassing, stalking, or threatening his ex-girlfriend and their child. The order also banned him from having guns. Now, the big irony here is the written law on the books in the United States also prevents all of those things, harassing, stalking, or threatening. All those things are already laws, but there carries a penalty of a felony if you can no longer have your Second Amendment rights because of this order. Whether proven or not proven, not found guilty by a jury of your peers, you've lost your rights. Again, that's the point here. It's about rights being lost without conviction. A federal grand jury indicted the man who pled guilty. He later challenged his indictment, arguing the law prevented him from owning a gun was unconstitutional. At first, a federal appeals court ruled against him, saying that it was more important for society to keep guns out of the hands of people accused of domestic violence than it was to protect a person's individual right to own a gun. That's the balancing act that was the existing status quo before Bruin. You could say, and a lot of left states did this, they said, well, yes, you have a right for the Second Amendment, but the public good outweighs your right as an individual, so there you go. That's the important piece. When Bruin came in, you, you, they basically said, you can't do that balancing act anymore, and it went away, which is why you're seeing gun control laws fall apart, because they were all built upon that premise. Now, again, accused of domestic violence, not proven guilty, 
by a, by a jury, a judge, nothing, accused. So therefore you lose the rights equal to a penalty of felony for an accusation. That's just like a red flag law. That's the important piece. Again, I'm gonna hit this so many times in this video because they are trying to frame it of uh, Republicans and the Bruin decision and all conservatives, they just want everyone to have guns, including domestic uh, violence abusers. That's not at all what we're talking about, but they are framing it as such. And it's important to spread this message out because we have got to counter it. The appeals court withdrew its original decision and on Thursday decided to vacate the man's conviction and ruled the federal law banning public people subject to domestic violence restraining orders from owning guns was unconstitutional because it was an accusation, not a proven um, court uh, decision. Specifically, the court ruled that the federal law was an outlier that our ancestors would never have accepted barring a quote from the Bruin decision. They're trying to say that the Bruin decision is all about enabling people for violence. That's not at all what's going on. Again, this is about losing rights without a verdict, without a jury, without due representation. This is, this is so important to understand that piece. Thursday's ruling overturned the federal law and is not likely to impact similar state laws, including one in California. Still, California Governor Gavin Newsom, a Democrat, called the judges who issued the ruling zealots, who are hell-bent on a deranged vision of guns for all, leaving government powerless to protect its people. Again, this is the same man who would throw any of your individual rights on the altar of public safety if he perceived it as such. Doesn't matter. Second Amendment right, First Amendment right, due process, all of those things. He's done it in multiple occasions in his uh, term as a governor. It doesn't matter. Your rights are not important. It's what he deems is important for the state of California. That's the key. It's not a zealot decision, and it's not hell-bent on guns for everyone and guns for all. It's specifically about losing your rights only through due process and a verdict of a jury of your peers. This is the important piece that he is just blowing past. And I got this last thing that proves it. Quote, this is what the ultra-conservative majority of the U.S. Supreme Court wants. It's happening, and it's happening right now, Newsom said. Wake up, America. This assault on our safety will only accelerate. It is not an assault on your safety. It is a curtailing of assaulting of our rights. We need to own the framing on this because the framing, if we do it wrong, is going to come back and bite us because they are going full bore on the marketing push on this, even though it is not true. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below, and I will see you on the next one. I'm Braden. See you later.